Greetings my Tubulant Warriors, Palitations and Preparations to ya. This is Mother's Day, of course we went and seen uh, Marianne's mama, she's very sweet, and she's 90 years old. Uh, I, uh, my mama is upstairs right now, and uh, so she knows I love her. So, uh, I thought I'd give you uh, an update on what's going on here in, in the deep woods of Arkansas. Uh, first things first, uh, let me turn this view thing here. Look at that. <coughs> hmm. There ain't nothing in it. I had this at a machine shop and they kept it three months and didn't do nothing with it. So I'm taking it tomorrow to another machine shop and uh, they will do something with it. So that's good. I'm going to have her bored, boiled, and my pistons checked and forked in the holes. And if anybody knows of a decent camshaft I could get for it, let me know. I mean, the cam's good in it. I don't think this thing has run much. It's all standard. And it's shiny and greasy. But that's where that is. The Flow 50 Flow is right there. And I'm getting a gathering of parts for it. And come out here and undid all this oil oil uh, cooler scuba bang. And I got the right stuff already to bolt up in there. So that's good. New flywheel, new this, new that new pan gasket. I'm going to take it apart and see what it is before I put it in the little Farbird. And I located a transcription 400 table hydro and that's about it on that. Looking for an intake. I think I found one that's not going to stick up too bad. <coughs> These <coughs> These uh, trees and bushes and stuff is putting out the pollen, boys. There's the parts of the flathead. I just hauled off and I couldn't get it apart of all the good stuff of it. Uh, one or two come apart right. The rest of them I had to saw them out of there. But I got all new stuff for it. That'll make it happy. And that'll look pretty good in my little street rod, I believe. There's the makings of a T-bolt. T-bolt. <laughs> I wish I had my T-bolt of a T-bucket. And there's more that goes with it. But step into my office, please. I got the 51 mooched up so I can do a little bit of stuff right there. Keep me from rolling around in the dirt like I have done 40 years. <sighs> so, oh, I can tell you about this. Uh, my good buddy, my, my adopted brother, Rusty, Dave, he gave me a, or he bought me a rubber for my windshield. And I paid, I took it to the glass shop and uh, they put it in, I think, five or six times and broke uh, nearly a whole sheet of glass trying to put it in there and still they 
that last piece they broke, they broke trying to put this stainless steel in there, the trim, which they they just didn't know. You know, they're all young, young folks. And uh, I've done this stuff before, even on them little Crosleys. And if you don't know, I, you put the glass in the rubber, you put the line in the coconut and make it all right. No, you put the glass in the rubber out of the car with the stainless behind it, stainless trim, and then you set the whole smear on your car. Then you either string it, pull the string behind it, or you use these little pencils, which is what I prefer. It doesn't tear the rubber so bad. And uh, you put it in that way. They didn't know that, but they knew to charge me $300 for what they did and did wrong. And didn't put a center bar in it. And it's got holes where the screws go through, so that's not going to do nothing but leak on my Fraulein if I ever get her in there. But, oh well, I'll do it right. And coming along, the wiring is all getting toughed up and hooked up and everywhere. So that's a step ahead. And got an original... Ford Fomoco turn signal switch because I don't like them other ones. Uh, they're good when you can't get one though. And this monstrosity here is a 1932 uh, Ford Roadster. There's the white hood and there's the black radiator shroud. Uh, Doors are cuffed up over there, and the hinges, and some more stuff's there. But that's a little roadster body. And uh, let me see if I can get a side shot to it. We're fixing to have another storm. We have a storm once in a while. And it'll wash everything. Oh. Here's what they give you for a turn signal switch for a Ford. Not much to it, is it? But they're proud of it. It's like $60, $70. And uh, there's part of the part of the, the thing. And goes all the way to the floor and there it goes. So well, that's a good one. Uh, da, 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 da. That uh, 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 this hood. Let's talk about this hood for just a minute. This hood is magnificently heavy, and it's heavy because well, I don't, I don't know what that is, but I feel it's it has failed. And it's, Thing. and it is bent there because it weighs very 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 much so uh, yeah I can I can uh, take this apart sew that up put a brace behind it and it won't bend there anymore but it still weighs 150 pounds and uh, little as I am fat as I am I can't get it up in the air like I should. I think nine out of 10 men couldn't lift this very easy either. And I don't know if it's got like bleh, five tons of mud on it. It looks like it's over mudded and bent and dent. But uh, I'll show you the solution. Oh, here's the stuff I got to uh, replace the stuff I cut out of it. Don't that nice? Ain't that pretty? That. 
bunch of retainer clips. When I go to putting it together, I'll show you. I mean, you probably already know how to do it. But. And oh, I got Madam Tootsie. When I left the state, my state employment, I had one about this twice this big. And I left it with them. I figured then they don't have a mechanic, they don't need a hammer. And it was a big, <coughs> excuse me, big rubber hammer. <clears throat> That's as big as I can find now. And there's her baby, Annette. Okay, let's go. Let's go outside into the wild, wild world. <clears> Hoi <throat> polloi. <laughs> Ugh, I missed you. Oh, it's gotten dark. Already. Here's what I hauled in years to. Another 51. Two door sedan. And I can just cut this one up. And if it's got anything good on it, I put it on that one. The hood's good. You can lift that hood with three fingers. And the trunk hinges are compromised, but we know how to do that. It's got 50 model glass taillights in it. They may go into my roadster. But however, and whatever, this is oops, fell in a hole. I uh, went and hauled this one. Didn't give much for it, of course. But I, as far as maybe a, a rat rod or something, I like to, well, I don't know. It's just pretty, pretty nasty looking. But I bought it for the hood and a couple pieces of chrome on the grill that mine's bent all the who who half of that. Oh, it opens like a door. And it's got a 50 model, probably a 50 stern wheel too. Oh, that's, this is not good. There. Little three speed on a column. It does have a radidio it only get AM though. And uh, no air, no power steering, no power brakes, no nothing. But it's, you know, 51. Who was president in 1951? Probably the same guy that's president now. But, anyway, and however, there it is. Looks, looks terrible, is terrible. And that's good. Good for us. We like stuff like that. Uh, yeah, let's get off of that. And we're going to have to hush hush here in a minute and uh, go in because it's looking mighty threatening yeah now, we don't like threatening because it's threatening basically yeah it's threatening uh, I'm working on a video of what is and what ain't and uh, y'all need to stick around for that. And uh, it'll be chock-a-block full of knowledge that, that uh, some people don't know. It's all common knowledge. But some people don't have no idea what it is. Uh, 
for instance, uh, if I had a whole stack of hot rod magazines, which I think I still do, that would be, I'd pick one up and I'd say, this is issue 51, or 19, or whatever. And that would be an issue of Hot Rod Magazine. And this is not an issue. This is a problem. So when you say, uh, I have an issue with this car, there's, there's no issue to it. It's a problem. You understand. The issue. The issue is a publication. The problem is usually a 51 Ford. But it'll, uh, my next video, uh, hopefully, will be uh, full of uh, malarkey like that. It's my vision, or my version of how the world is how it needs to go back to it. and hopefully it will if I have anything to do with it it'll go back and uh, I think that's it this will be a short short one Studebaker still there waiting on its turn I did get the door open and uh, it needs to be moved back a little bit. It rubs on the fender very bad. But I don't want to close it right now until I can move the hinges. There it is. Ain't it lovely, don't it nice? Until I can move it back, I don't want to close it. So, it just kind of gets rained in. And, uh, Oh, the poor floor it is already ventilated. Yay! So it ain't going to hurt it to get rained in. It might do it some good. But these hinges. Now these pocket hinges I used to mess with on the 56 Fords and things. This is what they call normal. And they are beefy. They're pretty, pretty strong. But you've got to adjust them. You've got to pull the door panel cords and adjust the forehead of them, and it's not easy. And they usually don't come apart. So anyway, that's the way the world twirls. This old dude, stewed would be a lot of fun to have blasting up and down these dirt roads. It's got that big Packard in it. Packard V8 and it's got this faux speed. Uh, I think it's a three speed overdrive but it's you can make it into a four speed I think. Or shift it to be that. So that's the name of that thing. Somebody don't beat me out of it. Uh, this thing is going to be marvelous. In my dreams, they're a lot easier to, to build them in your dreams and stuff. Oh, I nearly closed it. You dink. <sighs> okay, if I don't shut up, it's not going to be a long one. And we know that I don't like to uh, bore y'all too much. So, I'm going to say sarnacha to y'all and salutations to you uh, mothers out there and take care. If you got a mother still here, boy, I'll kiss her and hold, hug her and everything and she'll say, what's that for? Because Steve told me to. That's a cutworm hug, because he can't hold up. He can't uh, hug his mama, but I will someday, and sooner than, than uh, later. So, uh, that's my spiel, 
and I'm sticking well, I'm sticking to everything I've been all out here uh, I did find me some Zagnut candy bars I'm happy with that it's hard to find a Zagnut around y'all oh well uh, I love y'all and you all love each other which I know you do but uh, you know, keep the loving you know above board if you're so mind uh, I'm going to go in before the tomatoes get here. I've already had one tomato attack. It looked at this place and said, Nah, I would just be doing improvements if I hit this. Hit this. So, all right. Bye-bye. Where's the leave and cleave button? Display, picture, try this.